Now, if you want to be able to defend your designs better during a feedback session, gain more confidence in the designs that you are actually working on, or even embody the traits of a senior UX designer, oh, then it starts with a clearer and more effective UX problem statement. So let's imagine we are setting off on a mission to design the world's best local vet finder for our furry friends. So three of the most common mistakes that I have seen UX designers make when writing a UX problem statement include literally stating what you need. So for example, we need to be able to search for vets. Now the second most common mistake that I see is that they are not providing enough detail or specifics. So for example, help pet owners find vets. And the third most common mistake that I see is that they literally provide a user story instead of a UX problem statement. So for example, as a user, I want to search for trusted vets. Now, all these are great and they help you understand the problem that you are solving to some level and to some extent. However, we can do so much better if we want to become that senior UX designer. So normally when I am writing a UX problem statement at the beginning of a project, I try to find out as much information as I can to help me form a strong understanding, a strong foundation for the design decisions that I will be making. So this is something that I normally will do. Even if I don't get enough information from the client or from my team, I will try push them. I will try to ask questions to try garner as as much information as required. So for example, let's take help pet owners find vets. What I like to do is break it up into three sections. Context of the problem, what is the problem, and then what is the solution. So for the context of the problem, the current solutions on the market for helping first-time pet owners find trusted vets for dogs lack relevant information to to make informed decisions. So as you can see, I'm giving the problem a little bit of context because it helps not just myself, but also my team understand what is the environment that we are working in. And then what is the actual problem? So this leads to a lack of trust in the platform and requires the user to spend more time finding a local vet. So it's not efficient. What is the solution? What what are we proposing as a team? Vet Finder is a dedicated and easy to use platform to help first time pet owners find trusted local vets. Our goal is to bring a beginner friendly and well thought through experience for pet owners to find the best vet for their furry friend. So as you can see, we are expanding and adding so much more detail to our UX problem statement, not only does this help your team, but it helps you make better design decisions because you are more specific on what you are actually trying to solve. So for example, if we pop into the Figma file, you can see that we have targeted first time pet owners, right? This is our audience. We could have generalized them and said pet owners, as a general audience. But because we are using specific keywords like first time pet owners, and in the solution we are saying beginner friendly, then we could make a strong case around making this experience very beginner friendly, using words that are easy to understand and making things just very simple to use. But on the other hand, if we were designing an experience for people who had multiple pets, they've had them for years, they're not first time pet owners, they've been owning pets for numerous decades, then the experience might be a little bit different because their expectations are a little bit different and also the knowledge that they have in this industry would also be a little bit different as well. So as you can see, defining your UX problem statement really does help you become a better designer and a more strategic one. So hopefully you found a lot of value in this video. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.